The video you're about to see is unprecedented. In it, we not only explore the Queen's Chamber of the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is usually closed off to the public, but we climb deep under the pyramid to the subterranean chamber, which is seldom seen on video or in photos. The reason I say unprecedented is because it really is unprecedented to get this kind of stuff on video. We were given permission to film past the padlocked doors by the incredible Yusuf Awiyan and the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism. With us on this tour around ancient Egypt were people like Jimmy from Bright Insight, Ben from Uncharted X, and George from Cosmic Tusk. You won't want to miss this video. It may answer some of your questions regarding the true origins of the Great Pyramids. Hint, they were not built as tombs. They resonate perfectly, and the underground tunnel system is likely older than the pyramids themselves. Don't go anywhere. This is about to get historic. As we waited for Antiquities employees to unlock the padlocks to the subterranean chamber and the Queen's Chamber, I quickly walked up the Grand Gallery of the Great Pyramid of Giza to check out the King's Chamber once more. And once again I found myself climbing up this little chamber towards the Grand Gallery, try not to hit my head. And today at the Great Pyramids, at the Great Pyramid of Giza itself, they have opened up the whole pyramid, including the Queen's Chamber and the Subterranean Chamber, for just us, for about two hours. This should be exciting. All right, we are in the King's Chamber once again, and as a lot of people have noticed, it's really hard to talk in here because it just kind of echoes back at you. Perfectly reverber reverberated and up here you see some massive, massive rocks, massive stones. And above this, there's multiple layers. That's interesting. Yeah, the grooves. I was like, and then those grooves, and it looks like this was the gate. And what was that? Like the water line there where it was like sitting there and eroding? Or, I guess as high as they went. After walking around the perfectly built echo chamber, Yusuf Awiyan told me to stand up in the section between the Grand Gallery and the King's Chamber. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's loud. Hello, 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 my dear friends. The resonance was incredible. I then headed down to the Queen's Chamber. And now we enter the Queen's Chamber. I'm literally following him. Not just figuratively on social media. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> the weather's great. You might be surprised when you first see in here. Explosions? No, I'm just filming your reaction. All right. I don't know what you would expect to be inside of a very clean so-called chamber. Jimmy from Bright Insight says, I will be surprised. Whoa. <laughs> Great, I ordered this like three months ago. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
So we are inside of the Queen's Chamber, which is filled with, as you can see, IKEA furniture, still in the box, and parts of air conditioner equipment. But you can see, this is very interesting how it's cut like this, but not dead on with the actual ridge of the roof above us. <laughs> You can see there's another tunnel here. Let's see what I can see here. Zoom in. We could see damage made by so called Tomb Raiders and lots of patchwork on the walls. an old part of the Great Pyramid of Giza, filled with pylons, pieces of furniture, old garbage bottles of water, which is unfortunate. All right, now I'm heading back out towards the bottom of the Grand Gallery and I'm gonna check out the subterranean chamber for the first time, which I'm really excited about because it really says a lot about the potential of the Great Pyramid of Giza being, you guessed it, a power plant with water running under, causing vibrational energy upwards through the limestone, cased in by the granite, and directed by gold. Now that's a theory, I don't know, let's see. The Queen's Chamber. I was then heading to the subterranean chamber. From here, the footage gets raw because I don't want you guys to miss a moment of, of what we see here. All right, and into the subterranean chamber we go. It's a little cooler. Feels a lot better now. All right. This is one way and this is the other. I have no idea. I think this is artificial. Whoa, I almost fell. This is the way into the subterranean now. Oh, let's go for this. This is really tight. <laughs> oh my God, this is much more difficult. <laughs> not quite the greatest of situations. It obviously wasn't built for people to just hang out. <laughs> it becomes torture after a while, ducking your head like this. I mean, seriously. Oh, man. It's endless, this tunnel, deep into the ground. I assume it's gonna be easier to climb up than go down. Another brave soul comes down. It just doesn't end, by the way. It just doesn't end. The railing is also not great, so. <laughs> it actually comes completely loose here. Okay, spot to stand up for a sec. Oh my God. My friends, we are deep at this point underneath the Great Pyramid of Giza. Excuse me? 
one of the strangest experiences I've had in recent times. And I found a little spot to stand up, which feels awesome. And then I look and it just looks like it just keeps on going. Ow, fuck. <laughs> my the steps are coming loose too. Shit. That's cool. I feel like I'm walking into a mine. <laughs> and the railing's gone over there. Great. All right. It's time to hold on to this side. It's by far the longest shaft. <laughs> Say what? The longest shaft in Egypt. You heard it. Here first, folks. Um, some of these are not stairs. All right. Just a rusty nail. <laughs> Stuck in my foot. Oh, and looks like more evidence of where some people tried to blow the place out to find tombs. Probably got this far down and thought, fuck my life. <sighs> All right, we're at the bottom almost, I think, unless it just continues after no, that. Oh, it continues? Oh, yeah, okay. no. I was that being kidding. Dark. <laughs> I was kidding, and it turns out it does keep going. <sighs> Serious dust. This is crazy. Oh, okay, we're on our knees. All right. <laughs> Hands and knees it is. <sighs> You're good, it's lasted 10,000 years. <laughs> I wish I didn't wear this stupid jacket. <laughs> oh, we've got a granite stone over here by the looks of it. Interesting. There's a cut in it. Precision, no, but very crystallized. Very interesting. It is so dirty. Ugh. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. It was intense, it just didn't end. I know I'm pointing lights in people's faces, but it's the only light we have. I'm really sweating. So how did you feel about that uh fluffy best doing for you? Did did that seem like it was original. Did that seem, cause it's, I mean, it didn't look like it was precision cut or anything. Obviously it was, yeah. From what I'm feeling, we're pretty deep. Well, we're deep, I know that. I just can't remember how many hundred people was. I do what I want. Yeah, hold on. Let's get the shot of this, ready? Don't touch. Whoa, it just keeps going down. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't lean on that fence. I've seen better days. What's up here? You guys go up here yet? I did, but I have no view of anything because it's so dark, so I'm going to follow you with your outstanding light. All right. I wish they'd take these big boxes of crap out. Okay, so here we see some cuts. They look incredibly ancient, and you could see crystallization on the stone. But with that said, this fills with water from time to time. We are at almost, I think at this point, Nile level. And some interesting bugs crawling around. All right. I just saw a little spider. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Spider? Yeah, it fell down there. It's okay. Oh.
So Jimmy, when you see these ridges and these curves, this is this obviously isn't a tomb. I mean, I think it goes without saying. I mean, this it's is what's left of whatever it was. If we look at it, it's broken and destroyed. Whatever it was. But it, like, what part about this would be a tomb? You know. But again, we're seeing evidence of functionality. So if we're seeing functionality. What does that lead us to think about the Great Pyramid of Giza? That underneath it, it has some something that seems at least somewhat functional. The walls are well cut, not like precision or anything, but it's a task to do what they've done in here. But then you have these waves in the stone. Makes you wonder, this isn't a tomb. It, was it some resonance chamber? I think it had something to do with resonance. It made it to be in the air and water and vibration. You know what? There's a lot of theories. I know that I don't know. And I know that the, to say that it was built with the purpose of being a tomb doesn't make any sense to me. And the only reason why people think it is because that's what they were taught and that's what they heard from the get-go as kids. And when you have modern academics still repeating that, people just, because this idea didn't even exist until how long ago? A bunch of invaders came into this country yeah. and started coming up with <laughs> ideas that were completely different from that of the locals. But yeah. people don't realize this. It's like 160 years ago, these ideas were floating around. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. There's an empty box there. Of course it was a tomb. It doesn't mean it was built for that purpose, and there's nothing about it. Like People think that this is a maze. It was a distract, uh, throw off tomb or something. That's not the vibe of getting there. I'll through those precise tunnels and everything else. Just like, now that I'm thinking about it, like the Grand Gallery, so-called Grand Gallery, like, there's nothing ceremony about that. There's nothing, like, you don't realize just what a slant it is. I don't know what yeah. the angle is. I'll, I'll find out. I want to say it's half of, I believe it's 26 degrees because the pyramid, Great Pyramid is 52 degrees and I believe right. that that is exactly half. I'm almost certain I'm going to think about it. But anyways, the point is that there's no steps, there's no nothing. It's not like it's meant to just keep you out. Like, oh, the Tomb Raiders were just slid down and that's the end of it. Like, guys, because I, I know that even me saying this and I'm going to throw it on YouTube, like, mm -hmm. I'll get a bunch of hate for it by all these academics and people that buy into the Tomb Theory. I'm just, just saying, I'm no offense to anyone, I just don't. That's not the vibe I'm yeah. here. Oh, here I'm next. You know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's clear when you look around here that, I mean, 100% it wasn't a tomb, which again, why would this be under here? Why would there be tunnels going to it if it was just a hole in the ground? What, is it a well? Is that the next theory? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So instead of just drilling a well, which they did many of, by the way, around Egypt, because they had to live, um, and obviously the Nile was right there too, so why would you even need a well? There's no, there's no real theory as to what this is other than the potential of, and, and many people have theorized about it, that it um, concentrates some form of electromagnetic energy or some kind of frequency. And we feel the resonance in the king's chamber, in the queen's chamber, and between near the grand gallery. Um, and down here, you can definitely hear an echo. Um, and this all just seems functional to me. It just, it doesn't look like it's built for any reason to put mummies in it. Why would this be here if the other, if the other chambers are for mummies? Why would this be here? Why? why, why what is this? And, and no one has any answers, actually. And we're seeing what's left of this place after thousands of years of yeah. that. Excuse my language, it's fuckery. You don't know what they saw when they first came in, and this is just what's left of it. Yeah. Rat at. Yeah. And this is where it keeps going. Who has a lock pick? <laughs> I want to crawl in there. Well, it looks like it could turn there because it, it's at an angle. The main swim. Others say it in the. Yeah, they say a lot of things. That's a question. Can you put your uh, flashlight up a little bit? Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. I do know there's other tunnels in the pyramid. I mean, I've seen footage on YouTube from National Geographic. Escape shaft. Huh. <coughs> I don't even want to leave this now that no, I'm down here. Something else. I just can't remember how deep we are. I know it's over 100 feet into bedrock. I just can't remember how far deep. And above us, I believe it's 300 plus feet to the King's Chamber, if I remember right. We got down here nice and early. Yeah, 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 we got down here nice and early. 
think what we're hearing is him coming down the thing. <laughs> well, I heard that from under here you could hear bones from the King's Chamber is either 300 or 50 feet above us. Let's try. Um. You got to do it up against the wall, I think. Mm. <laughs> doesn't work too well down here. <laughs> it doesn't work too well down here. Oops. Fuck it. I really don't know what else to add, my friends. Um, I find this absolutely fascinating because this is not a tomb. And we're also deep below the Great Pyramid of Giza. I mean, we're deep in the bedrock underneath the pyramid, which is the oldest uh, part of the structure for sure. And also, considering the fact that they built the pyramids on top of already existing mounds, this very well could have been inside of that mound that they, that they built. It reminds me in some ways of the Osiris shaft and the way that they constructed it, which uh, is worth pointing out, I think. And also is set apart from the rest of the pyramids for sure, but also very, very, very um, impressive stonework nonetheless. I mean, sure, it's not machine cut. I mean, it's not made to look machine cut anyway, but it's a huge room deep, deep in the bedrock with only a small tunnel leading in here and this small tunnel it's hard to believe that they pulled all the rocks from here and went through there <laughs> yeah it's not the most um fun journey down this is a real like crawling through the earth situation yeah oh wow smack the seams and the I think, I think it yeah, climb up here. It's it's pretty interesting to see the grooves in the rocks here. Do you see the granite stone before you came in here that had uh, cut marks, lines down the sides? Pretty interesting. And if you look closely at the stone, it's crystallized. Uh, I think it's just destroyed. And I think that... If the water comes up from here, then there's a way the water's coming in. So I'm guessing that there's some form of tunnelage there. There's a tunnel right there. Yeah, I think those used to connect to all the other tunnels. These two tunnels are ones that go up and they pump the water to here. Yeah. And there's a theory that there are chamber down there. Yeah. Well, th this does look a lot of a lot alike to the Osiris shaft in the way that it was constructed. Even the chisel marks on the, you could see the chisels here. This is where you know there's actual chisels involved because you could see the chisel marks. Yeah. The chisel marks are insanely old though because they're, they're eroded themselves. I like that giant crack going across here. Look at that. There's a huge crack going across that it's holding up the weight of the pyramid. It's slightly unsettling. <laughs> On well, on the bright side, if it happened, it would happen very fast. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's a good question. It looks like a bunch of electronics. When you look under the covers here, yeah, there's alarm clocks. There's laptops, laptops and outlets. They're doing some experiments in here. Oh yeah, they were doing some laser precision around here. So I think it's the same as a queen's chamber. They had that stuff still. I'm just gonna crawl in front of you so I can get some shots. All right, enough of that. Holy shit. Oh, here's a granite stone. Oh, fuck. Can you ask one of the guys to bring my bottle of water? Can someone bring her a bottle of water? Where is it? She's taking off. Uh, what? You Do you have a bag? Up? I don't. Hey now, come hey, on. Hey, gotta come get your water. <laughs> Where are you going? Can you, uh... <laughs> There's like one sip left in it, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just troll squatting through here. <laughs> oh, fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> then keep moving. 
That was me smashing my head on the on the roof there. Oh, I've fuck. always wanted to feel like I'm in the Goonies, and this has completely kicked it off the list. Yeah. Indiana Jones, the Goonies. We just need to find like a big pirate ship. Hey, you guys! I'm gonna be coughing for days. Holy shit! Yeah. So this is where it looks like Tomb Raiders tried to get through a long time ago, or it could be a hallway to another tunnel that's filled with sand. The bent pyramid was like this. It goes without saying that this wasn't built for people to hang out and walk around. Um, it's clearly not a tomb. So what is it, my friends? I would say that the most likely scenario is the theory that... Oh, I'm so tired. That it was possibly some kind of machine. It definitely to this day still resonates electromagnetic frequency. This was studied by phys.org recently and found that to this day, despite losing its sheathing, it still resonates frequency. I can't talk anymore, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around and just film stuff. Maybe I'll narrate over it later. I just can't. But it doesn't. It feels industrial. It's definitely industrial, yeah. I feel like I'm inside a big old machine. Yeah. There's no... Or a mine shaft. There's no ceremony or... This is not a nice place to be buried. It's not a tomb. No. Who would want to be buried in this? Like, hidden from everyone forever? Halfway to hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My back. Nightmare. I feel like a really unfit Lara Croft. <laughs> Lara Croft, the aging years. Fuck, I'm 26, I can't even handle this right now. Oh, son of a bitch. This is way deeper than I expected. Yeah. Like, at least by 10. Oh my god. <sighs> it never ends. It just, once you think it ends, it just keeps going. Yeah, he says 96 meters. <sighs> Cut by you here. <sighs> Anything of interest? No. No? Uh, that's What's the door made out? Good selling point, but I gotta get it on video anyway. Okay. <laughs> What's the door made out of? Oh, it's metal. It's metal? Yeah. Oh, modern day block off. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I know where we are now. So, what we appear to be seeing here is a doorway, the original doorway made um, by explorers. This is ancient, but the explorers <coughs> blew the blew a hole in the pyramid. Let's see. I think it could open. nothing to grab it by. All right, I'm in the dark. Um, I can't get through the door. Definitely a little room there. 
and then it looks like an exit to the Great Pyramid of Giza. The exit, the exit that's been barred off of the middle door. No, we might be getting some hair. I highly recommend going down there if you're willing to yeah. hate oh. yourself after, but it's really cool. I highly recommend it. I'm but totally going down there. How far down does it go? It just doesn't end. It just keeps going. Really? When your back starts hurting, times it by 20, and then you'll get to the back. It's a lot. Nice. But I highly recommend it nonetheless because it's such a cool yeah. area. You can never get to see that shit. What's that? It's hot. Oh, it's just All right, I just got out of the pyramid and it feels amazing outside. It's probably like 18 degrees Celsius, but it feels awesome after climbing up that shaft. Seriously, my knees were like spaghetti by the end of it. After crawling out of the pyramid with dust in my lungs, I climbed up about 10 chest level rocks, sat down and meditated on the Great Pyramid of Giza. A friend unbeknownst to me took this photo of me sitting on the pyramid and watching the lights of Giza and Cairo in the distance. Above my head is Mars. It was a beautiful moment at the most historic site in the world. You can feel the pyramid moving as you sit upon it. You can feel slight rumbles. There's so much more mystery to be explored and understood at the Great Pyramid. The walls perfectly built to pi and phi using golden ratios that weren't known or discovered officially for thousands of years after they were built. Fizz.org claims that the Great Pyramids to this day still concentrate electromagnetic frequency. The Sphinx shows water erosion from at least 6,000 years of rainfall. Stelas exists speaking of the dynastic Egyptians clearing sand from the Sphinx after finding it themselves in the desert. At Edfu, they speak of the homeland of the primeval ones. A circular island structure where Egypt originated wiped out by flood and fire below the reeds leading to the ancient civilization heading to Egypt and resettling with knowledge of the seven sages passed on to Thoth who then kept the memory of technology, architecture and faith alive until slowly architecture and technology became worse with the ages and the former civilization was forgotten and now regarded as myth. The story perfectly fits Plato's Atlantis. One must also remember that Homer's Troy was considered nonsense until it was found. Now it's being dated back past 5000 BC, which puts it 2000 years older than what textbooks claimed the origins of civilization sprung up from. Gobekli Tepe, which we visited last year, is another example of an ancient civilization dating back more than 12,000 years ago. Even more importantly, Karahan Tepe, which we were the first to document in a documentary last year. The true history of ancient humans and the advancements they made are just starting to be figured out. Why were they hidden from us? Stubbornness? or reasons more nefarious. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you unprecedented looks at the origins of lost ancient civilizations. This is just the beginning.
But don't forget, we got purged from YouTube with 155,000 subscribers. Our documentaries at the Reshot Structure in Mauritania, among nearly 100 other documentaries on ancient sites around the world, were erased from history. Make sure to join us on BitChute, Library, Slash Odyssey, and Float.app. Also consider donating to our efforts at Go Get Funding, which is our replacement for GoFundMe, as GoFundMe secretly banned us without telling us one day before YouTube deleted us. The links are all in the description. We are also on Patreon and Subscribestar, and we also have a Bitcoin address below, as well as a Cointree link, which allows you to donate in many different cryptocurrencies. Our PayPal is listed in the description, as well as our Teespring store. You can join our newsletter at IamBand.com, and you can find us on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Don't miss our latest, my friends. We will soon be showing you unprecedented footage from one of the most mysterious sites in Egypt, the Osiris Shaft. A big shout out to the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism. If you're coming to Egypt, book a tour with the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism. You can't beat the permissions we're given at the most mysterious sites in all of Egypt. Stay tuned, my friends, and we will see you next time. Share on social media. And anyway, this is Josh Sigurdsson signing out from World Alternative Media. Find the truth, be the change. I'm sure you have already changed people's minds in your young age because you're involved, and I like that.